Let me see. I think we should. Okay. I want to figure on the second bullet point on your yes. board there, um, can you respond to the criticism that when all is said and done on this bill, the people who get the biggest tax cut are millionaires who can take advantage of the changes in the state and local tax deductions? Thank you for that question. As a supporter of that particular measure in the bill, I want to just say <clears throat> and thank you for allowing me to clarify what that is about. That's not about tax cuts for wealthy people. It's about services for America's, the American people. In our communities where we have taken care of our people, education, transportation, health care, all of the issues that public service brings to people was slashed by the Trump administration and we're just turning that over. So this isn't about who gets the tax cut. It's about which states get the revenue that they need in order to meet the needs of the people. And that is a fight that I will continue to make. That, that is still the result, though. I mean, that is still the result. No, it isn't. It isn't the result. Most of, that isn't the result. The fact is, is that the, the uh, dynamism that is injected into our states for the people is what is important here. And we're not going to have our states with their hands tied behind their back because the former president in the tax scam that they put out there, giving 83 percent of the benefits to the top one percent in our country while penalizing states that were meeting the needs of their people. So let's see this in the perspective that it is. The tax scam of the Republicans added $2 trillion at least to the national debt, giving 83 percent of the benefits to the top one percent penalizing states who were doing their honoring their responsibilities of public service to the people were reversed, turning that around. Yes, ma'am.